All right, Miss Minter and I are here in Sedona. Actually, we're at Schnebley Hill. We drove across from Munns Park on the old road, which if you've ever done that, you know how rough and rugged it is. Today there was some snow on it, but it was it was really pretty doable. I didn't have to put chains or anything on. You can see there's some snow on the other side there. And of course, it just gets prettier as you go. Such a gorgeous place. That's our full circle of where we're standing. So we're going to head down and hike some of the Sedona trails and then head to Miss Mentor's favorite. Is that your favorite Starbucks? Maybe? Prettiest. Prettiest, yeah. that's for sure. Mm. Should be nice. I thought I'd show you a little bit of like the Schnebley Hill Trail is like. If you've never done this, it's an extremely rough road for vehicles. If you're a four-wheel driver, it's kind of boring. But if you're a, you know, if you got your car and you're trying to do this, forget it. So you can kind of see the terrain you battle and how slow you have to come down this because there's. This nasty nastiness all over the place. You kind of have to pick a route and shoot it. And so you wouldn't want to do this in much less. Laura and I are in our, it's not a four wheel drive, but it's a traverse. It's kind of a truck chassis. And you can see even with our big tires and all of that, how much shaking around and knocking and all that kind of stuff there is on this road and it's pretty much like this the whole seven miles down I think it's seven I can't remember but it's slow moving that's for sure you get to a place like this where you even got ice and snow because it's in the shade all right we have come down about uh, a mile and a half maybe maybe two and you can look behind me you might be able to see that ridge that's the road that we came down and it really has been pretty gnarly uh, the road is is kind of torn up as you might expect winter time but if you've ever driven this thing you know that it really doesn't matter what time you come it's it's pretty gnarly so you can this is actually a pretty calm stretch we actually bottomed out a couple times. I actually slid off a rock on the side of a hill, which I haven't done since we were four-wheeling, but we're having a great day. Man, what a great... It's got to be about 50, 55 here. I'm actually hot in my sweater. So you can see how beautiful this area is. It's just amazing. All right, we're getting ready to shoot another one. I thought I'd show you this ledging. This is kind of the schnebly terrain you deal with. So instead of going up over the high side on the right, I think I'm going to back up and go back down on the left. Although you could shoot it, now that I'm looking at it from the downside, you could shoot it right there over those two. But anyway, we're just having a really good time. I think I'm going to come back up and come back down that way. Should be fun. We're having a really good day. It's a beautiful day out here. All right, we're back in the jeep trail area you can see that we got the guys coming down a whole bunch of them all having a good time there you go wave at the camera guys there comes some more look how many jeeps that is miss mentor eight or nine Hey guys! Hey. All right, we just got down, and Miss Minter and I just took about I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, maybe at least. Laura said, uh, climbing down from the top, which is right behind me, right over the car, and uh, the place where all the jeeps were was a gnarly, nasty little climb. And uh, we slid off two rocks on the way down. Had to move a boulder. Had to build just a tad uh, to get out and uh, you see Sedona behind us, parking lots and all that. So we're going into town to have lunch now at one of our favorite little places.
That was really fun. We had a great, I think we left the house at 10.30 or so and it's probably afternoon. So we had a great time. Then we're going to go hiking later today. So it was a good day. All right, we're literally are in the last quarter mile before they have the sign that says do not go. And you can see why if you had a regular car, this would beat the daylights out of it. You have to be careful and drive with your brain in gear. It's about 12.46 now, so it took us at least an hour to get out. See how gnarly it is just to do that five six miles from the vista down past a ton of the jeeps as you'll see in this video. We just really had a good time and now we're just about out. Just gotta be careful here as we climb through the last little bit of this. Got to get a stabilizer for one of Christmas. Not so shaky on me. Super fun. Yep. Well, Laura and I are here in Sedona, and we're going downtown to catch a bite in old Sedona before we go hiking. And uh, you can see this is why we love this area. It's really, really pretty. Right up here. I'm going to grab some lunch somewhere. Don't know where yet. Okay, we're at the artist We're somewhere at lunch. An ice cream shop right I think it's awesome. Great day. Sedona's crowded today, too. All right, Laura and I are out doing some scouting, trying to find good hikes for the Grand Canyon warm-ups in Sedona. We are on Little Horse Trail, which is a relatively easy hike. Be a great January one. It's around Bell Rock area, not too far from here. And it's a... Obviously in January, as usual, you're not going to have any shade, but nice area, cool, should be perfect for a winter time, hike for everybody next month, and you can kind of see we're down in the hole, so to speak, and we'll be hiking up a little bit, but not very much, it should be. Pretty smooth, pretty simple. Good warm up hike, I think. All right, now Miss Spencer and I are hiking. I was gonna have her lead, but she has deep concerns about which animal? The mountain lion. The mountain lion. She saw in the sign that beware the mountain lions in the middle of downtown Sedona here. So, Miss Spencer, am I saying this right? You refuse to lead? She doesn't want the mountain lion. What I don't have the heart to tell her is that the mountain lion always attacks the last one, never the front one, because then it would have to worry about being attacked by who's ever with you. That's how that works. So, if Laura doesn't make it back, you know why. <laughs> All right, Miss Spencer and I are doing Little Horse, and I don't know, we've been hiking 45 minutes or so, kind of getting next to the wall, as you can see. 
and then we'll I think our destination so to speak is only half a mile so it's not very far and uh, you can see behind us so we're still off and running and I'm thinking where all those kids are playing is probably Little Horse and they're probably riding it what do you think of that that's it I think all right lots of bikers how many did we just passed oh, probably eight to ten time. maybe both ways yep. we're in a little ravine here between you can see people up on that rock plane yeah that wasn't your horse so that yes, looks like that wasn't horse or there's another way up yeah. maybe it wraps around who knows we'll see Sure is pretty here though really pretty All right, you can see we're sharing the trail. A lot of bikers today. <laughs> All right, we're on top of a little horse. Say hi, Miss Winter. She's up here. This is gorgeous behind us. Sedona behind us. It's a really pretty little area here. There's another trail over there somewhere, but we're going to try to find where that connects. We still got a little bit more time before we call it a, a day. It's pushing quarter to three. And I'm at almost 10,000 steps counting the bumpy road down here. This mentor says that I am out of control with Derek, my... Derek, you gave Pops a great gift. He loves it. He takes it out every five minutes. I don't understand how your mother cannot enjoy these. Yeah. I don't get commentary. it. So now we're sitting on Little Horse, <laughs> eating a tangerine. Seriously, you're going to get a beating. She will get a beating later tonight. Oh, but thank you, Derek. You made your Pops very happy. <laughs> I do like it. Yeah. Alright, we're coming back from Little Horse. And not too far from the parking lot. It's only about 325 now, 320, I don't know what it is. It's 322. So really, I'm guessing we'll be back by 345, but it's a nice little hike. And very pleasant weather today, obviously. And there's Miss Minter rolling right in. Won't be too much longer. We'll be drinking Starbucks. That's the key thing you need to remember for those hiking with Miss Minter. Starbucks is less than four miles away, which, as you know, is a critical, critical issue. Keeps all of us safe if we keep Starbucks within reasonable distance. Over and out.